How's it going guys? Today I want to show you an awesome way of taking notes for research. This was always one of the most challenging things for me to do when I was first learning how to do research papers. You know, to really take quality notes that helped me write excellent papers. So today I want to show you a few things that I've learned about this process. Quality research notes will all contain a few things. Number one, they will all have a topic and research questions listed on the page. Another thing that good research notes contain is full MLA citations for each source that you're taking notes on. Good notes will also have direct quotes from each source and each of those quotes will contain an MLA citation as well. Finally, good research notes have your own thoughts about the quotes that you've copied down. This is one of the things that we tend to overlook, but it's so vital that you put your own ideas in your notes so that you know what you were thinking when you wrote down that quote. So let's dive in and see how this works. I've created a Google Doc where I'm going to be keeping my research notes. You'll notice that at the top of the page I have my topic listed, which is high gas prices. That's the problem that I want to solve in my research paper. I also have four high quality narrow research questions that I want to be exploring. One of them is what are the effects of high gas prices on consumer spending? This is the thing that I'm going to be taking notes on today or that I'm going to be searching for articles about. Once I have my topic and my questions down, I want to create a space where I will be able to have both direct quotes from sources and my thoughts about those quotes. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is create a table on this document with two columns and two rows. On the left hand side of the table I will have direct quotes from each source. And on the right hand side of the table I will have my thoughts about those quotes. Now it's time to dive in, do some good advanced searches and find sources that will be relevant to me. I found one that I think helps answer my question about effects of gas prices on consumer spending. The title of the article is An Empirical Investigation of the Impact of Gasoline Prices on Grocery Shopping Behavior. I've looked over the abstract, which is found right here, and indeed it looks like this is definitely an article that I'm going to want to be looking at in more detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up an MLA citation of this article. There's no reason to create one from scratch. I'll just click on Cite on the right hand side of the page. Scroll down until I find the MLA citation. Then I will copy this citation and I will paste it above my notes right here. This is a quirk of EBSCOhost. Sometimes it formats the citations funky on your page. You may need to go in there and get rid of any highlights. I'm also going to make sure it's left justified. Okay, so I now have my topic listed at the top of the page, my research questions, and I have a full MLA citation for the article that I want to be looking at. It's time to dive into the article, identify relevant quotes, and put those into my notes. I found a quote right here on the page about the effects of gas prices on overall shopping behavior. The quote I like is right here in this paragraph. So I'll go ahead and copy that quote over and paste the quote into my table under the direct quotes column. Now all I need to do is go ahead and jot down my thoughts about that quote. I'll also write down any questions that this quote brings up. Writing questions down is important because it helps me identify areas for further research. As you can see, these notes so far meet all the criteria for high quality research notes. The topic is written at the top of the notes. My research questions are recorded at the top as well. I have a full MLA citation for the article I'm looking at. I also have direct quotes from the article and I have my thoughts about those quotes. The only thing that's missing at this point that I failed to put in there is just an in-text citation for this direct quote. So I'm going to go back to the article and figure out what page number I got this quote from. I'll do that really quickly. So I will just add the page number 
at the end of that quote and I'm set to go I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys be sure and write down any questions that you have about the information I've presented and let's talk next time I see you in class about this I'd also like you to go ahead and create your own notes on Google Drive and follow the format that I've given you here thanks guys we'll see you next time